Hey, what's going on everyone? Lamar here again, about to watch an episode of The Legend of Vox Machina. This is Season 1, Episode 7, Scambo. And a quick recap of what happened last episode. Percy got uh, officially a name off his list, uh, off, off the gun. Uh, Captain Stone fell. And he rescued the leader of the Resistance, which was his friend, Archie, when he was a kid. The thing that's actually interesting is... You got to see Percy with the gun, and I'm not sure why, but he his eyes went black. So I don't know what kind of like deal Percy made, but like I'm assuming some type of like dark entity or something, because I think it's the combination. You have to wear the mask plus the gun, and then it gives you like some type of superhuman bullets or like some supernatural bullets. Because I mean, he shot him, and his arm like exploded. So I think it's that combination, and like that means that like you're connected to like some some dark entity or something that's what i think but it it doesn't really add up too much of like how like there's something missing there's something missing in this whole thing with percy and this gun so i'm not certain like what else is necessary but something is hidden and he it, eventually that, 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 that like that has to come out because he already pointed the gun at uh vex already and like i was like yo what are you doing and like his like death felt of like you know what? i'm the last one you don't understand i'm gonna kill them all and archie's like you ain't the last one your sister's still alive like they they, they got her they you know i don't know what they're doing with her but you know they got her and that's what's interesting because i remember like they showed her sister being like shot with a bunch of arrows as they were trying to escape but if she's alive i don't know if lord briarwood like made her a vampire so that's why she's alive or you have Lady Briarwood uses like some dark magic on her, and that's why she's alive. Or they could have just you know healed her. I don't know. Um, but yeah, they 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 got a whip on the resistance. I mean, they lost a ton of people, like just trying to get into you know into the main castle, into Castle Briar, not Briarwood, um, Dorolo, the Dorolo Castle, and they got a lot of people killed, and they're trying to like get out right now. So, yeah. And plus, the whole Attack on Titan thing that came out with, like, the giants grabbing people and stuff was pretty cool. I'm not even going to lie. Uh, see, oh, big thing with Pike. Found out that Pike, it wasn't a curse or it wasn't, like, the dark magic from Lady Briarwood. It's something involving Pike herself. Like, she is somehow stopped, like, disconnected from the Everlight. So, it, I don't know. I don't know where they're going with that, but that's basically like the whole thing right now is like that connect that this connection. So hopefully everyone can get out of the the castle. They got Archie and they can try to figure out what they're gonna do next. What's the next bunch of moves? Where they're going from here? But I don't know. <sighs> okay. Um. Oh yeah. And the door was because of a D and D roll. It's it's something that happened in the actual campaign. They were rolling and they just couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> get through this door and that's what the joke is so i'm actually really happy uh learning about like that's what the actual joke is that's really really cool um but yeah uh let's see what next episode goes i'm done talking let's go white stone mind from our very mountains its plain appearance belies an exceptional trait when refined it is known by another name residuum glass professor anders correct okay so that's As what residual always means. Percival. Residuum is a potent arcane amplifier. <coughs> Take this delicate lambent crystal, for instance. On its own, the light remains measured. However, when even a tiny bit of residuum touches it... Ah! Huh? You're not endangering the heirs of Whitestone, are you, Professor? <laughs> of course not, <laughs> my lord. Merely but wait, that's that guy, though. That's the guy who's most in, like, all white. Commodity. I just realized Do that. Do keep the children in one piece, if you can. <laughs> children, yes. If I may, I still have not received word on my <laughs> refinery proposal. Anders, we've been over this. Your ambitions cloud your duty. More is not always better. Perhaps focus on your pupils instead of matters beyond your purview. Oh, okay, your advice so this is, is what made him betray them. See you at dinner, dear. Yeah. Ah, why do I bother? Professor, it's just an experiment. Not to me! Never appreciate the potential here. How could you? 
when everything is given and nothing is earned. Oh, fanciful whelps. Pray you never wake to find reality knocking at your door. I mean, that's his threat right there. Word of our escape. Rendezvous in the morning. <laughs> Time to start talking, Percival. The fuck happened back there? I assure you, I'm in control. Oh, were you in control when you pointed that at me? I saw your eyes. The pepper box is a potent tool. I, I may have gotten carried away. I swear, if you turn that thing on any of us again, I will not hesitate. I will kill you. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Percy. Holding that weapon, it's like you're a different person. What is it? When we came here, darling, you promised no more lies. You owe us the truth. You're right. The creation of the Pepper Box begins five years ago. With my family murdered, I had no way of striking back. So I did the only thing I could. I fled. Washed away to a new life, wandering aimlessly. My days spent struggling for survival. My nights filled with fear, blood, and cruel nightmares. I worried I would go mad from grief. The hatred inside me grew. Vengeance burning hotter than black powder, nearly consuming me. Until a new vision came. A spawn of science that would bring me the revenge I so desperately sought. I dreamt of a machine that would tip the scales of fortune in my favor. Wait, so I dreamt no have a gun in this of this. Yikes. No wonder he's single. Uh, not the time, Scanlan. Sundry? What happened to you? Yeah, look, don't get me wrong. That thing's badass. But what are those scribbles for? The monsters I hunt. Professor Anders, Anna Ripley, the Briarwoods, and until about an hour ago, Kyrian Stonefell. In my dreams, I swore to make a list of those who wronged me. Swore to who? Hold up, that's five names. Who's the sixth barrel for? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, hmm? That's important. Like the last one. Who's the last one? It's that ale. You told Is it to me kill himself? that was all empty. I guess there was one left. Oh, must not kill Vax. Hate to interrupt, but this is bigger than all your personal shite. Percival de Rolo is back from the dead. If that won't inspire the people, nothing will. Sorry, Archibald. Right now, I'm only thinking about my sister. Ugh. Guess they're a close-knit family, eh? Huh? You know what I'm saying? Shut, Shut it. it! I know you're eager to rally the troops, but you Cassandra's my only one. family. I have to find her. Else really Percy, old friend, I reckon we can do both. The noble de Rolo residences. The Briarwoods hand them out as prizes to the cronies. Stoneville got one. Their enforcer, Duke Vedmire, lives in the one we passed earlier. Oh, the Duke. That's what it was. Yeah, the Duke. And right there, Professor Anders. My scouts got word he's holding the kestrel here. Cassandra. Cassandra is the Briarwood's prize hostage. Freeing her would be a massive blow. The whole city would take up arms. Oh, oh, what if I lure the guards away from the house? <laughs> yeah, good one. Come on, real ideas only. Listen, I'm serious. I can create a distraction while you save Percy's sister. That would have to be an enormous distraction. I mean... Yeah, and you're tiny. Well, then I'll pick a big target. Th that bruiser, Venkman. Dead Maya. Yes, I'll burn down his motherfucking house. A fire that big would be seen across Whitestone. The answer is no. 
Grog and I will go. I'm much better at this. No! You're the stabby kill kill guys. I can do this alone. I've got these potions. Which do what again? Oh, no idea, but okay, it doesn't so the, the bag, Look, it, I'm it, a it holds things distractor. at different sizes. My songs, okay. I my jokes, why, like, my... You put the, the me, gun in there, just Vex, you're always saying I'm annoying. Hmm. Well, let me be annoying. If there's trouble, we can't help. Gah, don't worry about me. I know exactly what I'm doing. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> oh, I'm a master distractor. Oh, I'm gonna burn it down. To... Oh, moron. Hopping walls like a cat. No! <laughs> totally meant to do that. This is not like a, like a show to is it? Gonna prove Vex wrong. <laughs> this fucking rain comes along. I mean, mm -hmm. put it at the bottom of the, the haystack. You can bring it on top and pull it at the bottom of the haystack and tell it's forward. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh shit! Oh. Trespasser! It's one of them! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! He was literally taking a shit, right? He didn't wipe enough. He fucking looked good! Roll to see if you hit me. Uh, hi. <laughs> oh, gentlemen, to your health. Oh. oh my god, that's pretty funny. No? Yeah, I really thought that would do something. <laughs> oh, hell yes. Please be something good. So, what misguided ambitions delivered this miniature parcel to my abode? <laughs> yeah, uh, funny story actually. I thought this was 74 Whitestone Drive, but it must be 74 Whitestone Ave. <gasps> Why? 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 More uh -oh. jokes. I strung children's corpses from a tree. But I promise you, you will suffer worse. That was convenient. <laughs> 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 Guy's weirder than me. You put off that Shit. fire! Okay, uh, no, no, no. Eh, tempting, but not the right time. It's almost there. Oh, scroll. I've read this stupid thing a hundred times. But I've never sung it. Huh. Okay, fuck it. Never schnevon! Fillet you and use what? your bones for. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Normally, I hunt beasts in their domain. This should be interesting. <laughs> Such bullshit. <laughs> Not bad. I should remember that spell. Now for my grand exit. <laughs> or not. Going have somewhere. Just jump off the busy your evening, hand. little man. You're a tiny maggot, but your head will still mount nicely on my wall. Scanlan's probably three deep at a brothel right now. Who let that sex-crazed gnome do this solo? 
Um, you? you did? Oh, never listen to me again. That's it. I'm calling it. You're just going in? The longer we wait, the more we risk being discovered. On my shot, we move. Let's not be rash, Percy. Holy shit. He did it. And it looks like he went all out. Oh, yeah. He's into that freaky stuff. Moving, man! Excellent plan, Vox Machina. I mean, that is what we're known for. I'll rally the <laughs> rebels. When you have her, send a sign. And Percy, try not to get yourself killed. I was dead yesterday, remember? Can only improve from here. Looks clear inside. Hold on. There could be a trap. Ugh. Not everything's a trap, you twit! Let's do this! <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's a trap. Oh, he has magic chains. Body part, right? <laughs> oh, wait, please, please! is over. You're weak, you're small, and in this world, that means you lose. Wait, wait, wait! It's true. I've all talk, but the brothels have taught me one thing. Size doesn't matter. It's how you use it. Get to tip your server. Good show, Scanlon. Anders! Open the door, coward! Cast. Percy. Always early to class, Percival. Release her, Anders. That's an order. An order? You do Rolos were always so entitled. My new employer encourages me to make my own decisions. Shoot him! If you harm her, Shoot him. I will end you. Shoot him! Let her go and we can discuss a future where you're Shoot still him. breathing. Uh -huh. Shoot him! You seem to think this is a negotiation. Shoot him! Don't! <laughs> wow. Are you serious, bro? Shoot him! Shoot him! Go black mass and shoot him! Um, shoot him! You just let, you let the guy kill your sister and you're not shooting him? Shoot him! Shoot him! Oh my god, if you end... Alright, that was episode 7 and... It was kind of like the Scanlan episode, which it was it was more about like Scanlan and like you know him showing his worth, which is really cool. Um, I got to really see that that bag actually. I, I was thinking about the bag and like how we like were putting things in and like I, I didn't really pay attention to. It, so I remember I saw it with Percy when he put like that big old sniper rifle in there and like it kind of like shrunk. I wasn't really paying attention. I was like, it did it added this right? Maybe I've seen things, right? But it, it wasn't until like Grog pulled his like his battle axe out of there and it's like okay. This bag, it's, it's something more to this bag. Like, you can pull things out that do, doesn't, you know, the space doesn't matter. I guess it's just, like, the, the real world into, like, the game world where he puts it in there, which is actually really cool. Um, I like the fact that there was a, there was a quick hint at, like, a D&D game where you got, the, like, some of the guards, and it's like, hey, yeah, why are you doing this? So that's actually pretty cool. I like the little Easter egg there. Um, 
the Duke was actually the Duke's actually an interesting character because I think, but no, no, because Percy said he didn't say anything about the Duke being on his list though because I thought he would be on the list because he's you know, part of like the whole Briarwood thing, but apparently he's, he's not. So I don't know. I don't know how they're gonna try to like figure that out, but that was really odd. There was this uh, that woman that was there. I don't know who that woman was. Uh, so we have to figure out how that like lines up and how they want to put that together. But we'll, we'll see. Uh, going forth, I like the fact that Scanlan actually came in clutch. You know, I mean, him luckily having like the random bottles of potions he could take, and then like it just worked out. He like, had fire breath, he just lit the whole place on fire, and then like ducked out. And it's good thing he like he transformed to like the Triceratops, like running through things. It was actually pretty funny that they had Triceratops in this like world, but whatever. But it, it's crazy. They had griffins and stuff in there too. Let's just. <laughs> <laughs> it was so cool, it was so fun, but um, I don't know. I liked, it. I liked the episode. It was really, really nice. Um, the Duke, hey, that's gonna be an interesting villain because I'm assuming Scanner's probably gonna kill him, or maybe Percy kills him. I guess, or probably Grog kills him. So, oh, but see, like Grog take all those arrows and like, so yeah, okay, it's time to go fucking rage and like I'm gonna go uh, psycho mode and like just run through them all. Which is actually pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, I, I like I like this episode. It was really nice. The other thing I did like I didn't like the fact that Percy he he hesitated. He hesitated on shooting, uh, the professor. Like we got to see who the professor was, like a little bit of his backstory. But you know, I guess because it was a disrespected, so it's like okay, it's okay for me to kill the family and all that. But you're trying to negotiate with this guy, who had a, who's like, has a a, a knife to your your sister's throat, like. You should have shot him on sight. Like he wanted to shoot the Briarwoods on sight, so I don't, I'm kind of confused. I'm confused of why he wouldn't shoot this guy on sight. You, and you, then you're trying to like negotiate with him. Shoot him on sight. You, it's part of your gun like methodology thing, right? Where you like you use your gun powers and all that. Like, I don't know why he didn't put the black mask on and like and just shoot him. Like he was like trying to like, say stuff and like, which made no sense. Maybe because he saw his sister. I'm not really so sure, but like it. It didn't make any sense. And because he hesitated, his sister ended up getting killed. So, I don't know. Unless, unless this is like some type of play. And his sister, because I thought his sister was a, a vampire because she was alive after like everyone thought she was dead. I thought that maybe that's the play. But, maybe not. Uh, maybe she was just human. She was just like, you know, held hostage this whole time. Like, I don't know. But now, now she's dead. So, I don't know how you're going to kind of put that together. So... Yeah, I mean, hopefully, Percy shoots this guy because he's supposed to go black mass, but I don't know what's happening here. And uh, I mean, the gun didn't activate; like, it didn't have like the name on it and all that. But I don't know. That that annoyed me with, with Percy for not shooting him on sight. But we'll see how this episode goes. We'll see where the next episode goes. So you know, as always, you know, like, share, comment, subscribe, put it all down below. And I'll see you later. Take it easy.